Okay, so yesterday, eight women accused Morgan Freeman of sexual harassment. Videos are starting to surface of the alleged accusers, and they are as ridiculous as they come. Here, I'm going to play two of them that I came across, and you guys let me know what you guys think about it. Thank you. Thank you. Morgan, is there something that you want to say about my pants? (laughs) Is there anything you want to say about my pants? About your pants? Yes. Wear them, baby. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye. No, no. I mean, that's a compliment that I've gotten time and time again when I actually look good in my jeans, and I've never not once felt sexually harassed. And she's asking him for a compliment. She's asking him to give her a compliment on the pants, which is like, okay. Um, anyways, so here is the next ridiculous clip. And this is the girl who's named in the whole, um, accusations. Her name is present. And she's like talking about how she's so violated and who she's as ridiculous as they come. Here it goes. Carol, the impetus for this investigation was actually my own experience with Morgan Freeman at a junket last year for the movie Going in Style. Right when I walked into the room, he began making sexually suggestive comments to me. Now, as an entertainment reporter for over a decade, it was unlike anything I truly have ever experienced. One of those comments was caught on tape. In this comment that's on tape, he says to me, boy, do I wish I was there while looking me up and down. I was six months pregnant at the time, and his co-stars, Alan Arkin and Michael Caine, were seated on either side of him and actually looked at him when he made this comment to me. Again, it was caught on tape. And take take a note of Freeman's eyes in this clip. One time I, I congratulate the woman on being pregnant and she wasn't. Um, no, so I've no, never no, done it again. It for 50 time. years I've never done it. You've learned your lesson. I learned my lesson. Um, this, Boy, do I wish I was there. Uh, this movie is... As you see, that was quick right there, but there were other comments made to me by Freeman before and after this one, but they were not caught on tape. We reached out to Alan Arkin and Michael Caine, his co-stars who were seated next to him, and they could not, well, Alan Arkin could not be reached for comment, um, and Michael Caine declined to comment. Okay, so in the clip, you can clearly see that, you know, number one, she's saying like, oh, look at how he looked me up and down. He doesn't even look like he can see that clearly. I, I mean, no shade or anything, but I I don't know. It don't look like he was like looking her up and down in a sexual manner. And number two, it's clear that he was saying that he wishes he was there when his co-star mistakenly thought a woman who was not pregnant, he thought she was pregnant. I don't understand how the girl could take this as she thought that it was directed to her. And I don't understand how this made it to, you know, even be pushed out into the media as a valid sexual harassment claim when it's clear as day that he wasn't even speaking to her and that he was speaking about his co-star's experience on, you know, thinking a girl was pregnant when she wasn't. These things like this are reasons why people don't take the Me Too movement seriously. Like, it's taken as a joke because allegations like this that are clearly a joke that, you know, number one, one, he isn't even talking about her. Number two, the girl is asking for a compliment and asking for him to say something about her pants. And, you know, like, two videos and two instances where I see no wrong. I don't know, man. It seems like, you know harmless things that are going on has he flirted with women possibly has he made advances with women i'm not sure i wasn't there um i don't know it just seems like i said in the other video like a witch hunt to try to you know bring people down and i think it's ridiculous let me know what you guys think do you think that you know this was sexual harassment i don't know it doesn't seem like it to me but let me know what you think we all got differences of opinions All right, guys, that's all for this video. Stay tuned for more celebrity news and gossip. But in order to do that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button right now. Don't wait. Do it right now. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post these videos. And check out the links in my description box so you can see where I am other places on social media. All right, guys. Bye.